While the late ANC veteran Monde Mkunwana has been described as a loving family man with the interest of the nation at heart, Mkunwana died after a long illness. He is survived by four children and his wife. The Eastern Cape government, led by Premier Mapumulo Muswale uh, and guests from the national government, including Deputy Finance Minister, Minister Mkibisi Jonas, are among those attending the funeral. Yanga Funani is attending the funeral. Greetings to you and the viewers. We are coming to you live from the Nondloana Methodist Church where the funeral of the late Tatumon de Mkunkwana is currently underway. Speaker upon speaker has hailed praises for the late Mondem Kunkwana. He was described as a passionate man and a man who really loved his family. Joining us is his sister Usis Tozama Kunkulwan. A very good morning to you, ma'am. Tell us. What are some of the fondest memories you have of Utatu Mkungwan? Oh, Uput Monde, he was a very friendly person. He was a dear brother. He was so beloved. He was somebody who always united the family. And he is somebody who always made sure that the history of the family and the background is being restored. He never wanted us to lose or to forget our roots. That is where we are coming from. I'm sure you have some fond memories of him. Uh, I understand he was also one known for, as, for his uh, 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 humor. Tell us, what are some of the jokes he enjoyed doing? What I will always remember about my brother, you know, first thing, is like when I phoned him, the first thing he will say, Hey, Mkungwan, Utini Mkungwan, Oganye, hey, Toz, hi, my sister. Oganye, he will say, oh, we look so alike, you are like my twin. And also, you know, when he relates to the history or to the memories of what has happened in our families, you know, he will relate them in such a way that it was something that has just happened yesterday. And he always reminded us of our fathers who are no more and we always relieve those memories. He was known for his love for education, uh, someone who was responsible for teaching uh, fellow political prisoners while being in, incarcerated at Robben Island. Tell us, is he, did he take that attribute uh, to the family? I think what I can remember is that he always loved education because as we are much younger, you can see the generation gap or the age gap between us. He, he, when he heard that I had graduated from Forte, he was so proud. He phoned me because it was during the time when he was in prison when that happened. And he was always keeping in touch with my father who was in Cape Town. So the first thing is that he congratulated me and always shared how proud with he was. And because because I was the first girl in the family to have a degree. Now, he leaves a legacy. As a family, how do you plan to uh, take it forward? The legacy that I uh, will always about our brother is to try our level best to keep the family united and to always honor the events or the ceremonies or the rituals that our family is holding all the time. And always, you know, even the younger one, because he used, he also loved the younger generation. You'd be amazed, our children, our grandchildren, he will remember them by their names. So that is the legacy that we would like to keep and maintain. Thank you very much for your time, Sister Tozam. Thank you. Sister Tozam Kunkwana, who is the sister of the late Mondem Kunkwana, they say they will remember him for the love he had for the country, a man who loved the education and who really valued education. From us here in Tanzania, it's back to you in Jobek.